Okay, we started about 10 minutes to nine this morning. We uh, started our lift up. That takes us, took us approximately an hour to lift it 28, 29 feet out of the hole. And then from there, once we get to that point, then we move south and then we perform, we go through the engineer's load test on the crane itself, which involves doing a, a drop test down four inches and seeing how much drift we have, holding position for five minutes, seeing if we have any drift. And then the last test is emergency stop of the crane itself and seeing if we have any drift to the crane then. Involves a lot of heavy lifting, huh? Yes, the upper bracket's 150 tons and the rotor is just under 2,000 tons. The rotor, but the rotor will not go high enough to clear the pedestal. So we store the rotor in a hole in the floor. We get centered, the rotor centered over that. We drop the hook down and we attach to the pedestal and pick it up, up into the cavity of the rotor itself. And then we travel further north with that, with the Rayco and the small crane carrying the pedestal as well underneath. And then we cover that hole back up and then we have to travel back down south to where the it'll, its final resting spot is. Uh, overall, it's went a lot smoother than we thought. It's actually gone a lot quicker than we thought it would. We originally didn't think we'd be able to travel north until around noon, but operations was able to give us the units to shut them down. So it's been pretty good so far good crew and they do a good job.